Welcome back to the Collective Arcana, and I don't know if you watched our first video on the Vox Machina unboxing of the miniatures, but we are ready to look at the Mighty Nine, which I have faced away from me, so I literally have not seen them yet. So, um, in the uh, first round of unboxing, uh, the Vox Machina looked fantastic. It looks so good. Uh, you know, uh, as we sort of mentioned, there's there's some uh, a lot of uh, concern online that maybe they weren't up to snuff. So their expectations really low, and then we were ex excited about Fox Machina, and now we're kind of worried these might be awful because we're trying to figure out what all the negative feedback was about. Yeah, I mean the 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 mighty are the the Vox <laughs> Machina. Vox Machina. I mean there were some flash lines that need cleaned up. There were a few you gaps. You have to have that though. I mean, yeah, I mean there were, there were a few gaps that. Uh, Certainly would need a little bit of filling in. Yeah, you want to help me with that? Um, but the overall, I mean, especially for the price point, I mean, they're as good as anything that Nolzer's or Reaper makes that I've seen at that size. And uh, I mean, the detail is really, really good, as near as we can tell. Yeah. Um, but here we go with the Mighty Nine. Come here. This looks like a Beauregard. All right, great detail. Our face is okay. I think they look great. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't know. Oh wait, I have Caleb up next, and I saw some bad pictures of Caleb. Okay, yeah, I mean, I mean, Bo looks, Bo looks good. I don't know. I don't know if we just got like a really good. Yeah, maybe maybe it's just inconsistency between. Uh, Caleb looks. Like, oh, here we go. Let's get this in. I mean, she really doesn't even have much flat. A little bit, I guess, to clean up. But yeah, I mean. You can see like where the where the fill hole is here and just some things like that, but I mean You'll have the that detail the is injection molding parts. Right. I mean the, the detail is great. The only problem I see with Caleb is uh Frumpkin's got a big old hole in his head or in his neck, which oh, would be yeah. super easy to fix. Um yeah, that's, that's the injection point. His, yeah. The faces on the Caleb's I saw uh were causing problems and I think his face looks great. I have Jester next, I'm scared. <laughs> Yeah, I think Ford looks great. Uh, Ford looks I don't see great. anything wrong with him. Uh, I do have Jester up next, who I have heard the most complaints about. I've heard she looks like she got sung by a bee. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, I will. I will say one thing is, and but you sort of knew this from the preview pictures. Uh, Mighty Nine definitely not quite as dynamic in their poses, not as iconic. Um, I think part of that is almost certainly due to the fact that. Uh, we hadn't had very many adventures with them. The you didn't know their really... personalities yeah. when they started these. Yeah, her face is a little wonky. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else, I saw some complaints about like the body and stuff. It, it's really just her face, though. How fixable is it, do you think? Mm, yeah. I mean, there's only you know so much. You, she, she, you'll see. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, definitely a little bit of swelling, a little too much cheekbone. I might be able to contour something, we'll see, but her the problem really is that her eyes are, are almost like just not there. Yeah, it looks like her arm here, the way they put it into this little socket, it's a little bit off there. You can really see that gap, but I mean, you can fill that oh, with yeah. Miller putt. Yeah. Um, or, like, you know, I'm whatever you're I'm gonna do a video is. on Jester and see if we can fix her up a little bit. Um, just some things we can do to make her look a little less odd. Yeah, you can really see the face just a little bit puffy looking. Okay. This arm is definitely not great, but all of it's fixable. Um, you know, if you don't have a lot of experience with miniatures in general, um, these might seem pretty glaring, but again, especially at this price point, um, I'm really not seeing much that would uh, make me uh, regret this I'm regret very this happy. Purchase. Molly, again, a little bit of puffiness. A little weird on the face, which is also something they communicated to us about. But not that bad at all. No, I mean, he, he really he really looks good. Uh, he's got, I think, a lot of character in his pose as well. Very, very Molly. And um, he's just... He's just overall... Sorry about the cat, folks. Um, but he's... I'm very impressed with him. I was very worried about Molly. So not looks a little funky. Goblin she, funky? Or? Not looks, no. <laughs> not sure what's going on with her mouth here. Uh, Did she have her mask on? Is that what it is? I, I'm trying to see that, but it just looks like she's a Muppet. <laughs> and also her arm does not look natural. <laughs> oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, it looks like they missed that joint. Yeah. Um, oh, that's that is definitely odd. <laughs> yeah. Well. Oh gosh, yeah, no, that's yeah, not, just her. That's gonna need some work. Uh, yeah, so she's not wearing her mask. She's got her mask around her neck. Is that what it is? Yeah, but her 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 <laughs> she definitely looks uh, Muppet esque, like something <laughs> out of the Hensons, But. Um, we might be able to do something. I don't know. We'll I see. think we can definitely fix that gap on the arm. I don't know about making that. I might even think about natural. the arm in one spot or uh, something. Yeah, you might. Yeah, something might weird's going that. on with poor little not the brave. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, you know, we knew as good as the Vox Machina set was, and as much as we were hearing, we knew there would be problems. We thought it was a little too good to be true if uh, these turned out as a lot better than expected as well. I'm happy with Yasha. Oh yeah, Yasha looks really good. Again, I am, I will say, maybe a little less detailed than some of the Vox Machinas. Some of the lines aren't quite as crisp. Um, the other thing I'll say is, again, just the poses, really a, just a slight letdown. I mean, Yasha should have something as big and as yeah and as fun for, I mean, yeah, these are, again, it's just the nature of the poses that they're doing. These are, these are great for in-town poses, but as far as battle poses, which is what we got, all over the Vox Machina set. Yeah. Everybody looked like they were in a fight. Yeah. Oh, Shikasta. It's pretty oh, he good. Look, he looks good, yeah. Oh, he's got a little flash line on his face, which is problematic, but other than that, he looks really it's good. pretty good. I would say this was a pretty mixed bag, but even the ones that we don't love, I feel like the colors are so bright and iconic that that's going to make up for a lot of it. Yeah, I think, um, I think the way you, like, super like you said, high contours, detail work, mm -hmm. then, you know, you can kind of have this theory that you can, like, take a really sloppy, you know, coloring book picture, and mm -hmm. if you color it with really high detail, it'll still look good in some ways, you know? Yeah, I think, I think, um, I mean, the only two that are really bad are Jester and Not, uh, our four detectives. Yeah. <laughs> um, but overall, I feel like, because, uh, I mean, Molly's a little bit yeah. too wide. But it's all cheekbones, and I guess that's just a design choice they made for tieflings, is all I can figure, because it's similar to what uh, Jester has. It looks like they we're trying to reconcile uh, broad cheekbones, but still keep her face round. Um, well, the thing about Molly is it's just the face. Yeah, the rest of him looks but tremendous. everything, like the whole outfit, and I can't wait to paint all the little the tiny... The coat. Yeah, there's a little, uh, like, mood and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you what, I have seen some wonky faces on Reapers. all brands <laughs> yeah, of movies. Yeah. So uh, there's a sorcerer. I must have painted her face <laughs> 75 times and it still looks bad. So, like, it's hard to get a face that small. Okay, let's go. We got more. Yes, um, so we do have one more the uh, Kickstarter exclusive box. Um, these are uh, going to be some side characters from. Uh, the show? Okay. <laughs> These are looking pretty fun. Have to do it at least once. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> All right. Body? Ooh. Oh, wow. He's got like gears and crap in his hips. Oh, wow, <laughs> yeah. That's good detail. You know, we kind of looked at uh, the designs, of course, when we were, when the Kickstarter first launched, but I really haven't, aside from that little update they had about the quality back in, it might have been February, I think. Um, I hadn't really refreshed myself on what the sculpts looked like. Um, Doty looks great. Let's just uh, get this. Oh, yeah, look at it. Look how big he is. It's fun. <laughs> For Doty? Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes, if we're doing, if we're doing Doty. Oh, wow. Let me see, let me see. He's definitely going to need, need some flash cleanup, but his sculpt is great. I would argue that this is probably the best looking one. Yeah? He's got a mustache. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. one of the best looking ones, I think. Yeah, I mean, his, his helmet needs some, some cleanup, but I mean, overall detail is for a character that wasn't in a terribly large number of episodes, uh, but he did leave a great big impact, of course. Uh, great character, everybody loves Terry and Darrington. Okay, so now we're gonna do, which one is the so prime? The Pumats look great, except I am disappointed that they're three, the three are exactly the same. I kind of wish they would have taken the same model and uh, 
has done a little something different with yeah, each Yeah, like change their pose or something instead instead of just giving us three of the same one, which I kind of figured they would do because that's the most cost-effective thing to do. Okay, so these are... <laughs> it's, a, it's a fun sculpt, though. Yeah, it is. Um, and the fun part is, you know, you can color them, paint them a little bit different. Yeah. Um, so these are the uh, simulacrums. Spoiler. These are the Pumat Souls. And then here we have the Pumat Prime. He's got, he's definitely got more detail. Um, oh, he's got some designs on his coat. He's got, uh, his, he's got his goggles. That's really great. And uh, we'll just put him, we'll just set these to the side a little bit here. Give him front and center. And he is just a lot of fun. And let's put him just beside a regular human-sized Terry and Darrington. And you can see that, uh, that Furbolg height difference coming in there. Uh, the box Machina set, of course, was. I'm gonna go out. Of, I'm gonna. I'm gonna put on the record. I don't really know how they could have been much better. No. Uh, there's a few little, uh, like I said, a few little gaps, a few little flash lines. You can see the injection point on a couple of them, but all that can be fixed with pretty basic uh, mini painting techniques that uh, uh, I know that uh, my wife here is definitely proficient with. Um, and I mean, there's the good news is there's lots of tutorials uh, for those in general, and we're going to have some specific ones for these minis yeah. uh, in the coming weeks and probably months because there's a lot of them. Yeah, there's a lot, <laughs> and I don't I don't know that I'll do um, a full paint tutorial for each of them. Who knows? I might, but I'm going to at least uh, show you how you can clean and fix some of these, especially with the Mighty Nine. Um, mm -hmm. I wonder too if a lot of the complaints are from people who don't clean up their minis before. Could be guilty. Hi. <laughs> uh, but I like to get rid of all the flash lines that are like mm -hmm. to fill in any gaps, which you you don't ever seem to do. Very <laughs> rarely do I do it. And I know it looks better. I just, you know, if I'm sitting down to paint, I'm ready to He's paint. He's ready to go. He's ready to paint you. But, but I will say the, the jester and all that. Yeah. It's also a challenge. I'm kind of excited to see if I can... Uh, what you can pull off. What I can pull off, especially yeah. Jester. Her face. I'm going to try some old school makeup uh, contouring with her to see if I can get those cheeks down a little bit. I, uh, I got to tell you, as a big fan of Warforged, uh, I love this Doty mini. Um, I only have one other Warforged mini, I think, which is a shame. Warforged is... I'm sure that will change. Yeah, I'm sure it will. Warforged are just one of my all-time favorite... Oh, no, Pumats, I'm sorry. One of my all-time favorite uh, uh, races in D&D. &D. Um, so that Doty is just... Most Warforged minis that you get are going to be all warrior brawler types. And uh, I know he's not technically a Warforged, but he'd make a great stand-in for a uh, Warforged bard or mage of some sort. Just... I will be thoroughly disappointed if we don't run into these guys in our games. <laughs> <laughs> I think some of them, at least, there's a good chance. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, as yes. far as as far as uh, elf rogues, uh, Vax is iconic. Uh, okay, yeah. wait. Why wasn't there a Gilmore though? That's what I was thinking about in between videos. I was thinking about, man. You know, we got the Pumats. Don't get me wrong. Love the Pumats, but. Gilmore is really... But yeah, so these are our uh, Critical Role minis, and uh, we're very happy. Even the little bit of... I'm still happy. Flaws I'm the, still totally happy. Uh, my, my feeling is that none of the flaws on uh, Mighty Nine were massive. Chester's face... It's a, it's a disappointment. Um, not I can kind of get... Be okay with her. I She's think a I, goblin. Can, I, I can deal with She's that. She's a goblin. I get it. They want to make her look kind of kind of silly. Um, I just kind of my I thing with her is that a, she's what's that called the Gla Glasgow? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's like, got a Glasgow. So like, which I mean, again, too exaggerated, yeah. but yeah, I think is, with paint, I can probably. Yeah, it, I think that's down. the best word for it. She's just a little too exaggerated for how uh, realistic. It's because she has the hood there, so it goes. Straight like right back, yeah. and it, it especially if, like you, especially if you put shadow in there, it's, it's, what it's, it's gonna, gonna look like she's a muppet. Yeah, but um, but aside from those, uh, and even with those, not not aside from even with those, I think uh, the Mighty Nine are very good. Like I said, on par with um, the uh, Reaper and the Nolzers for sure. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, that's that's the Kickstarter. Yeah, so if you didn't see the first video, uh, we opened the Vox Machina, and I'll link somewhere. And you can click that. And otherwise, uh, I hope you liked our video and uh, that you'll subscribe, like, yeah. comment. 
Yeah, please do. Helps uh, us out so much. And, and you know, if you want to leave a comment down there about uh, which ones you want to see uh, her work on first. Yeah, which one, do you, which one do you need help with the most? I have a feeling it's going to be Jester. <laughs> yeah. I'll do that one first. Uh, well, uh, thanks, guys. Uh, welcome to the collective. Hope to uh, see you next time. Bye.